This is a beginner's guide on how to skip Ohm's special attack cycles. Ohm's normal attacks are called autos. He has a range attack, a mage attack, or some phase specific attacks. During crystal phase it's falling spikes or crystal bombs. During flame phase it's burn with meat or firewall. During acid phase it's acid trail or acid splats. Ohm's special attack cycles are floor spikes, lightning, and portals. These are what happen in between the autos. I think it's easiest to envision the attack cycles as a ruler, where the autos are full inch marks and the special attacks are half inch marks between every other auto attack. The entire basis behind skipping specials is to be there in his attackable zone for the auto that is before the special, but to not be there when the special happens. If no one is there when the special is supposed to happen, it won't happen at all. First, let's look at the grid that I'm going to be using to demonstrate the zones. If you're already familiar with the zones, you can skip this part but if you're not, I would recommend taking a screenshot so you can mark these later. This is the usual view you will have of Ohm when you are in the fight. The view on the left there that isn't covered is the zone that he can target you, no matter how many players are there. Here is the attackable zone when he is looking in the middle. And here is his attackable zone when he is looking to the right. After looking at the zones, remember this. The entire idea is to be there in the attackable zone for the auto that happens before the special and to not be there when the special is supposed to happen. All right, so let's take a look at what it looks like when the attack cycle is happening on the melee side. So there's an auto, no special. There's an auto, special. There's an auto, no special, auto, special. All right, then let's look at what it looks like when the cycle is happening on the mage side. So here, auto, turn to the mage, auto, special. Auto, no special, auto, special. All right, next, we're going to look at what it looks like when you fuck up. So first we've got a left auto, special did not occur. So that means it's going to occur over here. We have an auto and a special. But then you fuck up and it goes to the middle. It'll do an auto, but since the special already happened, it won't happen in the middle. So then it will happen on the next side, which in this case is left. So auto and then special. So when this cycle started, the attacks were happening on the melee side, but since there was a fuck up and the head went to the middle, then continued turning, the attacks then went to the mage side. So now let's take a look at what happens when you fuck it up the other way. So right now, the special is still on mage side because it was on the previous clip. So there's an auto on melee, no special. Here's an auto on mage, special. Back to melee for a blank auto. But then you fuck it up and it goes to the middle. Now remember, since the auto did not happen on melee, it's going to happen right here. So auto, special, then you turn it to the left, blank auto, back to melee, auto, and the special. Now this reset it just like it did on the other one. So let's take a look at this again. Remember that after every other auto, the special attack will happen. Now let's look at how we can skip those attacks when we know where they are. This is the most common way you'll see people skipping specials. This is called melee skipping. So you'll see here that I am in Ohm's attackable zone. Now I already know that the special attack is going to happen on this side because it didn't happen on the previous side. If you noticed right before the frame froze, Ohm pulled his head back to target me, meaning that I will be there when the auto happens, but my goal is to be out of it when the special attack happens. 
Now if you notice here, I tanked the auto. Now I technically could have ran as soon as Ohm targeted me because I would have taken the auto anyway, but I'm going to wait until the auto hits me and click to the safe zone so that I can click right back onto the hand and not miss an attack. So here it is again at normal speed. Notice how I let Ohm target me so that I know that I won't mess it up but I wait until the auto hits me before I click to the safe zone and back onto the hand so I don't miss an attack. Something that I wanted to show is that the reason that I can stand at the thumb in melee is because I hit at least a 1. When I do damage to that thumb and all the runners are on my side after the mage attack, the head will turn back to me because I did damage. So you'll see here I hit an 11, so I don't have to do anything special. The head will turn back because my teammate came to that side of the head. I am going to go back because Ohm targeted me and a special would have occurred. Now, if I had hit a zero on that first hit, I would have wanted to run back to that south pink square because you only have your first two hits to hit at least one damage. If you hit a zero on both of your first two hits and you're standing on the thumb, Ulm will look to the middle. So it is far safer to just run back to the pinky if you hit a zero on your first hit. So now let's look at skipping from the other side. If you notice the specials happening after the auto on the mage side, the major can skip instead of having to set it back to melee. Now this is a lot easier. As long as you and the runner are on the mage side, you're almost guaranteed to hit the hand and the head will turn. Now as the head turns, you want to step to the middle row. Now the reason you do this is really only to dodge firewall during flame phase, but it's a good habit to get into, so I'd recommend doing it during every phase. Okay, so I step to the middle, and as you see, Ohm pulled his head back to target me because I am the only one left in his attackable zone. Now since he targeted me, I can run whenever I want, but I am going to wait until the auto happens so that I know that I'm on time. So right here I'm clicking back into the safe zone. I let him target me so that I know that I tank the auto, but I'm leaving the zone before the special attack happens so that it doesn't happen. So after I skip the special right here, I run back to my side of the head with the runner so that the majority of the people are on this side of the head and it turns back. So I just repeat that same process and I can continuously skip special attacks while on the mage side. Something worth noting is that if you go to the other side of the head before the auto targets you, it'll turn back to melee, do the special attack instantly, and two autos rapidly. Now don't worry about this, just keep doing what you're doing. The cycle is still set, you just have to make sure that you skip it next time. So the last thing that I want to touch on is changing the side in case you want the melee to skip or in case you want the major to skip and the attacks are happening on the wrong side. So here's a trick you can do in case only one person knows how to skip specials and you wanted to set it to them. So we're going to start here on the third auto attack, which as you can see here in the video is the acid splats that just went out. Right here, a special attack did not happen on melee, but we want it to happen there. So a special will occur right here on mage after this auto, but I'm going to step over causing it to do another auto here because we want the blank auto on this side. So there is the fifth auto right there. Now since majority are back on melee, it's going to turn over here. There is auto number six. And the special is set to melee, as you can see there at the pairing. So I want to bring this back up again. Once you understand this, it'll make all of this more easy. You'll be able to skip specials in situations that you're not familiar with just because you know how it works. So again, you want to be there when the auto before the special happens, but not be there when the special is supposed to happen. 
So I've never made a guide before, so I hope this is somewhat easy to understand. If you have any feedback for me or anything that I could change, please let me know. If you have any specific questions, I can try to answer them. If you're wondering on how to dodge firewall when you're on melee hand or how to handle acid on either, um, check out a solo raids guide. Um, I know Sync just came out with one. He probably has the movements in there to dodge flame wall and how to deal with the acid trail. You don't have to like or subscribe because I don't really give a shit, but a comment telling me how you liked it would be cool. Thanks.